The Northern Company is the first company in Norway to work with seaweed as a source of food and modern cooking. When we started in 2014, there were not a lot of people who believed this was a good idea, at least not a good business idea. We wanted to inspire people in Norway to use their local food resources, to make green and sustainable choices, and to care more deeply for the ocean. You can affect a lot of things through food. In 2016, we were invited to come to the island community of Trena, which is situated at the Arctic Circle, 40 sea miles off the coast of northern Norway. This is where we harvest our sea vegetables from the end of winter until the beginning of summer. At Trena, the sea is wild, beautiful and clean and the seaweed there is fantastic. In June, when the harvest season is over, some of us returns to Oslo, where we collaborate with chefs and restaurants. We attend a lot of markets and festivals, and this is where we meet people who are interested in our produce. In the south of Norway, we also follow the harvest season and develop new products in combination with the local resources from the south of Norway. And we are especially interested in natural preservation, like drying, smoking and fermenting. And we develop new ways of cooking with seaweed. Seaweed is very healthy. It's a natural power food from the ocean. It is also a very tasty and versatile sea vegetable. And it can be paired with so many different ingredients. It works well with salty, bitter, sour and sweet dishes. It's beloved by the chefs in the northern cuisine for its umami qualities. But you really don't have to be a great chef in order to cook with seaweed. Soup is the most elemental cooked food that we know of. And to make a tasty soup, you need a good soup stock. This is where the seaweed comes in. One of the famous soup stocks is the Asian dashi, made from dry kombu seaweed, shiitake mushrooms and bonito flakes. In the Northern Company, we have developed a Nordic dashi using local produce. So to prepare a dashi, you will add your dry seaweed and mushrooms to a bowl. If you want, you can add spices and dry herbs. I like pepper, coriander and star anise. But use your imagination and look for what you have in the cupboard. Pour over one liter of boiling water and cover the bowl with a lid and leave it to soak for at least two hours. I like to do this in the evening so I can use it the next day. When the ingredients have soaked sufficiently, pass the whole thing through a strainer and use the liquid as a starting point for soup. On its own, the seaweed is not spectacular. It has a mild, slightly salty taste. However, as soon as you start adding other ingredients, you'll notice a much greater depth and complexity in your food. Seaweed brings out umami and activates the other ingredients to interplay with each other. It's like a magic trick. A well-known and very simple soup made out of dashi is the Japanese miso soup. You simply warm your dashi, add a spoonful of miso, which is fermented soya paste, 
and a few thinly sliced vegetables and your soup is ready to be served. You can keep your seaweed stock in the cooler for several weeks and use it in your different cookings. It is excellent as a vegetarian base for soup, for risotto, casseroles and sauces. Basically, you can use it anytime your recipe asks for soup stock. You can also continue to develop your stock into a creamy soup like we do here with wild mushrooms we just gathered in the woods. For this soup I also use onion, garlic and a small potato along with the mushrooms. I use a wild wine made from linden flowers, but also apple juice is a really good alternative. At this point we add the dashi and some blanched winged kelp let the soup simmer at low heat for about 20 minutes. Then we can add the coconut milk or cream and a bit of soya sauce to taste. Then finish off with some fresh herbs from the garden and some seaweed salt. The soup is ready to serve. If people understand the value of seaweed as food, they are also ready to start reflecting on what food is. For us this is important. Food is linked in the most intimate way to our bodies, to our families, to culture and to politics. In the Northern Company, we look at food as one of the major areas where the individual can affect their surroundings and make changes. <laughs> 